be on this land for the past eight years. Eight years in Cape Coast is not easy at all. But the Lord has been good to us. He's been faithful. And uh, not only are we just a branch, but within the eight years, uh, we, have, we have six branches to our credits. I thought you were clapping and still counting. Very soon when we have a conference like this, um, not only our branches um, locally present, but international branches will also come. I prophesy with my eyes open. Amen. So we are thankful for how far the Lord has brought us. Uh, your soul knowledge, our Papa, our Bishop has been a father to us since day one. Since day one. We were just a small number. It's about 30 people. Only 30. When the church actually inaugurated. I was a small boy, Pastor B. A small boy, Pastor B. But under leadership, Papa, grown with and now a small boy, Pastor, to becoming a grown up pastor. Amen. Every year, Papa comes to celebrate unless you are. you were clapping. Not many. Not many branches are favored this way. Amen. But Fifth Coast branch, we are favored. Oh, Bishop, every year, we don't want to take it granted. Let's do it better for our Papa. I want to ask one particular thing. And now this year I went to Israel. How many of you remember? When I was such a I started to call down. So I'm be part of it. I said, wow. And a trip that people are paying $3,000. I didn't pay one peso. So I've been to the Holy Land because my father sponsored me. He's a good father. Let's do it one more time. And there are many things. If I am here to, if I start enlisting them, it may bore you, but I'm telling you, we are drinking from his um, generosity and benevolence. He's a good father. Amen. Tonight, I am excited to introduce our father, our bishop, our general overseer, the Reverend Steve Mason. Wow. Look for five people. Tell them something good is coming away tonight. Hallelujah. Right hand is she Thank you, Jesus. My eyes have seen, my ears have heard, oh, the wonderful song, your grace.
Jesus. Amen. It's a very beautiful, it's a very beautiful song. Greatness, mercy of the Lord. Amen. And the ending is very important. The way you sing somebody's song is very important. Yeah. The choir mixed up the ending. I have to correct it. You sing it well so that we don't offend the writer of the song. <laughs> Hallelujah. Take your seats, please. And that we here one more time. I congratulate you for your eighth anniversary and with your tenth anniversary. And this year, we are going to finish in our land. And next year, we are going to start building. We will dedicate the building at our 10th anniversary. Are you following the plan? We must make it happen. Amen. We will not celebrate our 10th anniversary in somebody's auditorium or whatever. We have to be in our own place. We are grateful to God for all those who have hosted, especially this beautiful auditorium. Grateful manager for Lion is there. Know that the Ark of the Covenant has moved here. This hotel, and this facility will never be the same again. Say amen. Thank God for your pastor, son, ministry. We are happy that since, since he was planted, I see him flourish here again. Anybody who's under his ministry have no choice than to flourish. So thank God for all those who are loyal to the ministry. Keeping faith, better days are ahead of you. Say amen. And then, uh, thank God for all the bank pastors. See, love bank is in. Obviously, love bank is in. I can't wait to be there. <laughs> I missed them this year, but next year I'm coming fully. The other, and just say amen. No, my pastor, because I'm going to you. I came with Pastor Fred. I planted this church a year ago. He and his wife, they doing very well. When they sit alone, I've heard the name of the bank of CM at the Amen. And he's the pastor there. Oh, solo, I've been with for the past 20 some days. So he here with me. I also have son, an investment banker, Bastian Ziga. Very great man. Lord, rise up and wave to the people. He's a very great man. He's also an evangelist, an investment banker. Came all the way from Accra to come and see me to discuss issues. Say amen. Well, I want to thank God for our manager. Is he here? Manager, thank you very much. Why are you sitting? Please sit in front. Please sit. I beg you. Sit at the back. Thank you very much, manager. Our pastors have come. Hallelujah. Yeah, I want to talk about, I want to talk about walking in favor and in favor and in favor. Listen, listen very carefully. You cannot die. You cannot work away. Amen. Favor is given. Given by God. Amen. And very important that your life ministry is favored because you don't get on the grace ever. When you are using your might, turn the thoughts, go in the storm. When you are using your might, turn in the storm. The Bible said, by strength, I'm ready. You cannot be trained. People will favor your cause. As a minister, as a the workers, they don't favor you. And favor, especially you don't deserve. It's given. Say it is given. Anything that is given can be received. So I see you receiving favor today. Beloved, you must embrace favor. Because favor is the key to your endless struggle. Hallelujah. Favor, so she will say something I will never forget this. One day of favor. One day of small sorts of labor. When God favors you one day, it is better than 40 years if you receive one day of favor. Amen. Favor can carry you to where you have been worked for. Favor will prosper you where others are struggling. Amen. May God favor you. They don't desire to struggle. Said uh, Peter said, Peter said, we have toiled all night and have caught nothing. It is a toiling spirit. I don't want to toil. I want favor to grace me into prosperity. A toiling is the person who is the hard work doesn't prosper a person. If hard work prospers a person, then all the Intampo truck pushes would have prospered by now. All the Makola truck pushes because they work harder than you. It is not hard work. Hard work is good. But if it is hard work, if hard work is the roadmap to greatness and prosperity, then higher ye, truck chest should have prospered by now. But it's not might. It's when God favors your cause. When you obtain favor before a person. I hear you, my pastor. So, desire the favor of God. Desire that God will favor you before a boss. Amen. Desire that wherever you enter, any place, any work, any country, favor, the favor anointing should carry you there. Hallelujah. Both depend upon the smartness, the IQ, the kind of school men to certificate. It's not by you see certificated people frying kelewele by the roadside. And I will show you people who are bankers, who are frying chicken at wedding parties. Amen. And I will also show you illiterates who have dollar counting machines. Uh, illiterate. He has no classmate. She has no classmate. And yet, she has workers. She has agents. She has fleets of cars and houses and dollar county machines. It's not him who run it. It's not him who will it. But the Lord who showed grace and mercy. 
So contact grace and mercy today and stop depending upon your school certificate. Amen. Certificate is good. Get it. PhD. Get it. PSC. Get it. But lean more on grace than certificate. Anytime you are relying on your academic excellence, God just looks at you. Okay, let the excellence of your academic be way for you. It's when you see watching sellers, think sellers, dedicated people, so you can in them. Amen. And when God decides to favor you, I say, when God decides to favor you, as we celebrate our eight years and our new beginning, you are going to receive the impartation of favor. And as between now and 31st of December, I see God favoring your cause. Say, I receive it three times. I cannot begin to give you testimony of what favor has done in life. Amen. I cannot start. Testimony can wait the same. I'll show you that, brother. Let God favor you. Hallelujah. Your strong strength. Handsome men have married beautiful ladies, and both of them are miserable. Handsome men have married beautiful, and both of them are miserable. Rock pushers have married in Katia Celeste. They are happy. <laughs> Amen. Show you that it's not how handsome you are. I have gone houses that have marble walls, wall, marble, granite, carpets, and the woman in the house contemplating suicide. I become I say, how can you? How can you contemplate committing suicide in such a beautiful mansion? How can you be here? Because when I entered the house, I started looking. Say, hey, BTA, BTA, ba. But when I started conversing with the woman, delivery, I showed drugs she wanted to take. That's what she sent for. Show you that not a beautiful man. Meanwhile, some banana and catch sellers are very happy. In they are single room. Some are in mansions and they are miserable. May the Lord favor your cause. 2019, 2020 is your year of favor. God will favor you wherever you go. Nations will send for you. When you sit at boardrooms and you start speaking, the favor of God will give you wisdom that the people cannot gain. Say, say, I need that favor. I need that grace. I need the mercy of God. Amen. When God sees that you have gone to school, you have achieved a lot, and He sees you depending on His mercy and grace, it moves God. It means that you have recognized the God factor in your achievement. The God factor. I have seen the Lord. I am sick. God is blind. Rich. Rich in pounds. Rich in dollars. Rich in cities. I know. Because the same ones. There is nothing. I don't mix with all guys. I don't things. These are guys, when they were alive, they didn't recognize God. They don't go to pay in short pastors. They wine and dine with presidents and prime ministers. They are lying down. Sick. Amen. And that is why mad people are drinking from the gutters and eating from the bola. They are alive. People who are eating chicken and are sick. Spaghetti bolognese. You are sick. Somebody is drinking water from the gutter. It is walking around. Hunting stars. <laughs> this guy should be sick. He hasn't seen a dentist. He hasn't seen a neurologist. He hasn't seen a psychiatrist. He hasn't seen anybody. But Charlie, when he wakes up in the morning, he's going about. People are sleeping on water beds and they can't sleep. What? Have you seen the water bed? With birds chirping in the night with ultraviolet light in the bedroom and they can't sleep. Disgrace. People are lying on the mango trees with their head on the stone and they are snoring. Uh, may God favor you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you there? In the book of Genesis, Genesis 39, I want to show you a story that you have. Genesis 39. Genesis 39. I'm reading this. The Bible says, And Joseph was brought down to Egypt, and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him of the hands of the Ishmael, which had brought him down. And the Lord was with Joseph. Please repeat that part. And the Lord was with Joseph. And he was a prosperous man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord was with him. And the Lord made, say the Lord made. Take note of the English. The Lord made, the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. And Joseph found grace in his sight. And he served him. And he made him overseer over his house. And all that he had, he put into his hand. And it came to pass from the time that he had made him an overseer in his house. And over, and over all he had. And the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house to serve sick. And the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house. In the Say amen. Say hallelujah. Can you do the answer? Slaves don't prosper. Mm. I said, what? Well, slaves don't prosper. The Bible said, the Lord made him prosper.
prosper. So prosperity is not how there are aliens, there are natives of the land who are poor and a foreigner has prospered. It is God. The natives of the land are poor, but a foreigner who was a slave got into the house. The Bible said, and the Lord made him prosper. And everything he prospered. And the Lord blessed Potiphar's house for Joseph's sake. It was on grace. Grace makes you prosper. Amen. Amen. But he prospered so much that the master left. And the man knew not what had said the bed yet. It means Joseph had an impeccable integrity. Amen. Uh-huh. There are some people there. Eh? People fear to leave things in your hands. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. May that grace that found Joseph relocate you as well. He stayed in that in how I was saying. In verse 19, it came to pass, 19 of the same scripture, and it came to pass when his master heard the words of his wife, which she spoke on, saying, After this manner did thy servant, uh, did thy servant to me, that his wrath was kindled. And Joseph master took him and put him in prison, a place where the king's prisoners were bound, and he was there in prison. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor favor is given and gave him favor so favor is an impartation it, you don't buy favor you don't look for favor you can't find it it must be given to you by god and god gave him see you are walking around you are doing she she you don't have favor i'm talking plenty and you know who i am and you know who i am who are you Without favor, you are nothing. You are who you are by the grace of God. Say, I will contact favor tonight. Favor is a spirit. When it comes upon you, you have what you call sweatless triumph. Amen. When you carry favor, when people see I was in America, it's fake. I just went to there. I'm going with S class. <laughs> it's called and he said, I want tie I see this BLX 550 to add to the S class. I'm shipping it to for you. What is it called? I said, when you contact it, every, everywhere you go, everywhere you go. I said, if I want to tell you what favor does to me, go around for favor and contact it because it is an anointing. I'll be caught. If you try to, uh, uh, what is this? Uh, uh, I want to know that uh, I went to Yale and Harvard and, uh, <laughs> brother, your she, she, you know? <laughs> I say your she she no, it will not take you anywhere. Contact grace. Let God give you favor. May God show you mercy. Amen. I can't tell you things of secret reasons. <laughs> the Bible says, and God gave him what? Favor. Isn't it? Hallelujah. The Lord was with Joseph, and the Lord showed him mercy, and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper in the prison. In the keeper, verse 22, in the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners that were in prison. And whatsoever they did there, he was a doer of it. The keeper of the prison looked not to anything that was under his hand, because the Lord was with him, and that which he did, the Lord made it to prosper. The prosperity is, is made by God. It's not your struggle. It's not how smart. It is God who will make you to prosper. Thou shalt make thy way prosper. Amen. From today, may your struggle cease. Amen. May God favor your cause. Amen. May God show you mercy. May God sh- may you find find grace in the sight of God. May you come. At favor. There were prisoners for the seven days at the Lord and he prospered in prison. Who prospers in prison? Somebody in prison is prospering. You who has liberty, you are suffering. It's an error. A prisoner is prospering. A free man is <laughs> struggling. It shows that it is God. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord was with him and the Lord made him to prosper. The Lord see the God factor. Amen. And so when you wake up in the morning and you are praying, your prayer must be dependent prayer on God. Lord, make my prosper. Favor me. Lord, if you talk about who you are, what you have achieved, and the certificate you are carrying, depend on God. And God will never fail. Amen. Are you there? Hallelujah. Faith. There were business people here, but he gave the head. And the head, people were now handed to the business to serve. Actually, he did what was happening. And the Bible said, whatever the business do, was the doer of it. People can forget you, but grace. Oh, I say people can forget you. People can, people can take your memory out of their mind. And you are on God's mind. That is why when people who you know are not helping you, don't worry at all. The greatest helper is Jehovah. May God help you. The Bible says, and the Lord was with him. One of the things I value is 
that God should. If God leaves you, it doesn't matter who you are connected to. You can be connected uh, to the presidency. You will still fail. Amen. And when God is with you, that matter what The Bible said, and he was taught before to interpret Pharaoh's dream. Understand? But the coming sex of a man's service of and he now only by the wisdom of in Pharaoh said to Pharaoh. So Pharaoh should look for a man who is wise, who is intelligent, who can handle the affairs of Egypt. What he saying? Verse 37, verses 51. This is 51. Verse and the thing was good in the eyes of Pharaoh and in the eyes of all his servants. And Pharaoh said on his servant, Can we find such a one as this? A man in whom the Spirit of God is. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, As much as God has shown thee all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou. Amen. And why that's what I love to see. Woke up in the very business chore in less than 24 hours. Favor carried him from business and he was standing next to Pharaoh. Are you listening to me? It means that favor can change your sleeping place in less than 24 hours. It means that your status can change. Your sleeping place can change. Your working place can change. God can turn your life around in less than 48 hours. There is no way a foreigner, a prisoner, with a criminal record, having been accused of raping a potiphar's wife, even the accusation is not for you to be put to death. You are not supposed to be found guilty. Just for being accused, it's enough for you to die in prison. How on earth will you ever come out of prison and become a prime minister of a country who doesn't regard foreigners? It is only God. Oh, am I in church? I've gone somewhere. That is going to be your story in 2019-2020. Amen. That wherever your life is located, you shall become primus inter Paris. It means you shall be the first among your equals. God shall favor your cause. You shall be the head and not the tail. God will make your feet like the hind's feet. You shall run through high places. You shall run on the mountains. God will favor your cause. Say, I receive it five times. One, two, three, four, five. Give the Lord a man his shine. It can only be God. Amen. It can only be God. In the prisoner, the criminal record, nobody comes out of the king's prison. All those who are there have already been sentenced to death. I just await your shit. You know how you execute the king? There is no uh, 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 lawyer. There is no trial. He is the lawyer, the judge, and the executioner. At his own pleasure and discretion. As they are narrating your story, that you went to the room, and then you were in the room, you were trying to seduce the wife, the wife shouted, and then the wife shouted, you there running, and your clothes were left his room. Who asked the question? She said, no, there's no interrogation, there's no trial, there's no like the prisoner has rights. It is, no, there's nothing like that. At the, at the discretion of the king, he will slaughter you like a fowl. So as they are narrating your story, you have to be watching him. It means put him, put him in prison, it means cut off his head. Unless God favors you, you are dead meat. Amen. But rather, he rose from the prison and was standing face to face with Pharaoh. Interpreted and he said to Pharaoh, for the common affairs. He said, where can we say? So long as God has given it to you, you are the man. You are the man. And right there, from prison, the guy inherited your Bible. Ten lessons. How many? Let me read it to you. And as I'm reading, be counting. Say amen. Hallelujah. He said, For as much as God has shown thee all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou. Verse 40. Thou shalt be over my house. Say amen. According unto thy word shall my people be ruled. Say amen. Only in the throne will I be greater than thou. That's what? Three. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand and put it upon Joseph's hand. And I read him in vestures of fine linen and put a gold chain about his neck. And he made him to ride in all cried before him out their knees and he made him the ruler over all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I am Pharaoh, and without and without thee shall no man lift his hand or foot in the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh, oh, hallelujah. How many did you count? A man from prison in less than 24 hours inherited 10 blessings. It can only be 
favor. Was it the qualification of Joseph? Was it his certificate? Exams? His height? His handsomeness? His smartness? His IQ? It can only be God. That is the kind of grace you need. Let me finish. Let's see. For you to marry a prisoner, a foreigner, with a criminal record, a slave, to marry the king's daughter, a foreign blood in his bloodline, a foreign blood in his bloodline. Are you there? For the end of 2019, you wake up one morning and 10 blessings will follow you. I said, The blessings of the Lord that make it rich, that added no sorrow with it, shall be your portion. Say, I receive it. May God favor your cause, may God favor your, your work, may God favor your going out. May God favor your coming in. He said, I am Pharaoh. No one shall lift his hand or foot except the person has taken permission from you. This is your next level. That's what that is my next level. That's what that's my next breakthrough. You will enjoy something you have not labored for. Somebody will build a house. When he's finished, you will have a dream that he should hand over the keys of the house to you, an insignificant, tiny little boy living in some, some someone took up with me somewhere say I receive it somebody will buy a beautiful car and he will hand over the keys to you never think that your hard work is going to earn you all God shall make you to prosper you will sow look you will reap where you have not sown it's the grace of God say it's the grace of God say I receive it say I receive it three times Hallelujah. Psalm 102 verse 13. Psalm 102 verse 13. Cut it. The Bible says something. Psalm 102 verse 13. He said, I shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. Zion represents the church. He said, for the time to favor her, yea, the set time is come. Set time for God to favor Zion. The set time for God to favor you, it has come from today. Receive the prophetic word. Say amen. Say hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Genesis. Oh, I love this one. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33, verse 23. Chapter 33, verse 23. Oh, I love this. And of Naphtali, he said, Oh, Naphtali, satisfied with favor and, and, and what? And full with what? Blessings of the Lord. Possess thou the west and the south. May you be satisfied with Amen. Hallelujah. Are you receiving the prophetic word? Yes. Hallelujah. The Bible said in the book of uh, Acts chapter 7 verse number 10. Hallelujah. The Bible said, look at verse 89. The Bible says, back to verse 9. Back to verse 9. And the patriarch even sold himself in Egypt. But God was with him. Anytime somebody does something against you, it's an opportunity for God to now show up. And God was with him. Verse 10. Verse 10. And delivered him out of all his word affliction. And gave him favor. So the favor was given to him. And gave him favor. Hallelujah. And wisdom in the sight of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And he made him governor over Egypt and all his house. The guy became the governor of Egypt and over the Pharaoh. Oh, I don't know what you are thinking, but with this scripture, there is no way I can be ever be poor because God lifted. Amen. The next day, there came and over all the land of Egypt and great affliction. Our fathers found no sustenance. The wisdom, see wisdom, so that you become a preserver of your austerity. That means your lineage have a place to stay because of you, because of your great services. Hallelujah. Let me show you another scripture. The Bible said in the book of Luke, the one reading from verse 26. 26. And the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee, Nazareth, a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came on there and said, Hey, thou hast I live the Lord, you see. He said, At that amount. See, the favor was Mary's body. The carrier of the When you are carrying favor, angels become Muslim. Thinking you, when you are not when you are not carrying it, this is bad news. Accidents, it's fortune, affliction, shame. When you are not carrying favor, struggle. You can be in the church and be struggling because you are in the church, but you don't carry favor. When you dream of horses, cats, and dogs, and cockroaches, your bedroom becomes a zoo. A zoo. When people are dreaming of angels ascending and descending, they are dreaming of horses and cats 
and dogs chasing you and eating with dogs. It means there is you are not carrying favor. After I anoint you tonight, there shall be no more demonic visitation. Angels will visit you. Angels will visit you with good news. Because Mary was carrying the favor of God. See, how I, you receive angelic visitation. If angels visit you, demons pass and come to your house. Some of you having received visitation of angels. It's only your mother's witches, your grandfathers, your grandfathers, whatever. I beg you that I've been born in your house. That's why you must not allow demonic things to be done in your house. You must refuse to allow your own father. Paul like in house. Amen. When I gave birth to my first daughter. My father come and said, you will be We are coming. I mean, said, you and who? Because I know the way they name children. My, in my house. What they will take the baby through. And so, what they will take the baby through. They will pour water on the zingling. And put the baby naked on the ground. And the water will fall on the baby. They will take the baby. Put alcohol in the baby's mouth. They will put charcoal in the baby's mouth. They will hold the baby upside down. Then, oh God. I said, my father, you and your brothers, you are not welcome into this house. I name my own daughter after myself. I don't know any other. They carry bad luck. They are drunkards. They marry more women. They are they do a lot of stupid things. So Paul I bash in my house. So I said, You are no worker. I am Steve. My daughter shall be called Stephanie. Because I know myself. <laughs> Amen. All my children are by me. Then they are carrying demonic names. Names of some grandfathers who didn't live a good life. Some of your names are some mushrooms that have no meaning. Change your name. Change your name. Your name is demonic. Your name is some old grandfather who married 37 wives and had 105 children. Change your name. Names carry spirits. There is no favor in your name. Anytime you go to Dinsini and he wants to invoke his spirit, what does he do? He mentions the name of the God. So if the name of the God is Obo Oboya, Obo Oboya, Obo Oboya, they will be calling the spirit. Call the spirits by their name and they appear. They appear. They fry it on paper with oil and fire. And you hear the meat frying. Shh. There's no fire. There's no oil. The cosperis, a broom can appear from under the earth and begin sweeping by itself. Nobody will be holding the broom. A mat can come and lay itself. They say, lie on the mat. The mat itself will fly. Flying mat in my hometown. And so, a mat, first of all, a broom will appear. Shh. You see, demons are sweeping the room. You don't have to say it here. Dwarfs are sweeping the room. Foolishness in my house. I want angelic visitation. No demons. I'm not ready to do all the things. I'm sorry. But yeah, yeah. So some of the things. I'm not ready to do all the things. So I'm not ready. Nonsense. Absolutely nonsense. Nonsense. That is why we are where we are. What kind of a tradition that invokes spirits? Has it not invoked God? If these spirits have anything to offer, for all these years, have they offered anything good to your family? Live in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Live in the prophets, so shall you prosper. Uh, if you want your name, you have seven. Well, Anaba and Kobia, uh, <laughs> whatever. Long names. So, say, ah, this is my grandmother. That's my grandfather. So, say, okay, fine. You are your grandmother. She a Christian. Does she worship God? Does she go to church? What does she practice? What, does she shake? Does she drink? How many men does she have children with? I will not name my daughter after any grandmother who slept with 17 men and had 36 children. It's a spirit. Spirit. I love my mother. I don't love the spirit that's for you. I will not name you after my mother. Because names carry spirits. That is why God changed the name of Abraham to Abraham. From Sarah to Sarah shall be the father of any nation. If God is changing name, change your name and stop being religious. Uh, I just don't sound. I just don't sound. Uh, my mother gave me this name. Mother. I don't know the meaning of my name. Know the meaning of your name. Know the meaning of the name you are carrying. So that when we are calling you, we are not invoking a negative spirit against you. Know the meaning of the name you are carrying. Go and Google your name. Find out the meaning of your name. Who are you named after? Who is that person? Find out the lifestyle of that person. Before you are named after some demonic person who didn't worship God. That's why there are some young guys who are drinking, flirting, sleeping with their mother's age. But the person they name you after, that was his lifestyle. So now, the spirits that, the spirits don't grow old. Spirits don't aspire. Spirits don't diminish. Spirits are tireless. Spirits are timeless. They will follow you. They have no favor. Because you are carrying the ancestral spirit of a warrior. So every day you are fighting. Hey! Hey! Always fighting. You are a lady. When you are fighting, you fight like a man. You grow like a man. A woman who has a beautiful voice. When you become angry, your voice changes. A spirit takes over your life. May the anointing break that spirit. Break that yoke. 
break that that hold. May anything that has strangled you, may it set you free tonight. May you carry favor. Amen. Go ahead, sister. Very, very spiritual sister. When she gets angry, spirit will end. Her eyes become red, it becomes violent. Say, sister, say, but different though. There's something, there's something wrong with you. Because when you are angry, it's like we don't know you anymore. Oh, the grandmother, she's exactly the she did. The spirit was upon the grand visited. She fought all the men in life and all the men were with. Fight me. Fight like a man. Who beat the husband? She married. Eh, here in Kwasadia, I'm a boo, say, say, ah. Why? I'm doing Kwasadia, I'm crying with you. Primo, you say, say, ah. And you come over. Do what? That's a woman talking to the husband. The husband who sees the husband's dying away. This girl says, Francis, the Fufian, this have run out. Tell me, I carry the spirit of you. I've been the boy. No, nobody wants to marry you. But you know, who are doing the little run? I won't tell me. Bah! Slap my face. Hey! So I, let, I just lay down. Bah! If you touch me, you see what I'll do to you. See that change. If you are looking at me, that way, sometimes you change. The spirit possesses you. Something takes over. Your anger is not normal. The kind of anger. That possesses you. Your anger is not normal. Your behavior is not normal. Something is controlling your behavior. You have become a sex addict. You sleep with anything wearing skirt. Even if a copot is wearing skirt, you sleep with it. <laughs> it's a spirit. It's a spirit. Copot. You know the copot has earrings. <laughs> <laughs> and so why are you laughing like that? <laughs> Copot. I see here. You sleep with the copot. It's a spirit. It, you see, when people can resist you, it's a spirit. Anybody who, even madmen are lasting after you. Even when a madman sees you, Barbara, how are you? Peter, you were a carrier. You were a Jezebel. You were a queen of the coast. You were a queen. You were a Jezebel. You were a sex addict. What is this? I mean, the friend, then, the way I am, you know, I'm attracted to a lot of people. Taxi drivers, faces, carpenters, mad people are all chasing you. It's not a good thing. Anybody who sees you wants to go to bed with you, it means you are carrying a Jezebelic spirit. It's a bad spirit. What is exactly that? I miss the Yamako Giano. I'm a tetzel so many things. Nonsense. I went to Yatu and I went to Lisa. I was a little bit. I pushed me. Hey, I've never seen such a pushing. I couldn't believe a woman can push a man. Push me. Protocol have to help me not to fall. Hey, say, say, if you don't know, watch me kill you. Obo. <laughs> Obo. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> small, small little, petite, tiny little girl. I'm very, very pretty. I told myself that no. I mean, someone is can't. I'm not alive this month. I went back again. Say, bring her. Four men on the left, four men on the right. And I laid my hands and I could hear the girl. Hey, I mean, hey, so spoke to me. Speak face of the Hey, sir, all I had this age, mate. Say, write all the, wrote all the, called the pastor. Say, because all these, all these people have married. All these people that you have slept with, they have all, because, because sleeping around is the greatest transference of spirits. So these people have married you in the spirit. I mean, see, she was mentioning their name, and so they were choking her. She can't mention their names. Force, I said, light a fire. Put the names, bend them, and sleep. Pumping, pumping through her mouth, through her private parts, and see that blood coming out. Because it's covenant, it's yoke, it's bondage, it's spirits. When you are there and people are sleeping with you, sleeping with you, you know, what are they doing? They are transferring spirits. It frustrates grace. That is why you are not favored in anything. I have yoked, and that yoke needs to be broken. So though you are qualified, you have a good job, whatever, you are not breaking through because all these women have have collected to bring you down. That is why you become sexual appetite. It is not every mouth in this case. It is not every breast you must hold. It is not every sister you must sleep with. You are sleeping with your cancer. Sister. You are locking your future. That's why you're not favored. That's why favor doesn't follow you. That's why there's a struggle in your life everywhere. That is why decent people don't want to marry. You are attracted to useless, foolish men who are just sleeping. That your grace doesn't attract decent people. That's why you are old, not yet married. You have a litany and a barrage of boyfriends who take you at a time. So one will come on Monday, another one will come on Wednesday, another one will come on Friday. When they are picking you and dropping you, it's a care. They are picking you and dropping you. They are picking you and dropping you. It's not a good thing. So I come to pick you with Land Rover. I come and pick you with Ben. I come and pick bicycle. I'm going to give you with moto. Oh, you were a guy. You were a guy and, and taste a lady in some in Tokyo, somewhere. And when you don't sleep with the girl, you don't feel okay. It's like something you must conquer. It is conquering you. This is our year of new beginnings. May we break that bloodline yoke. May we break that stronghold. May we break that bondage. 
and step out into your new beginning and you shall be satisfied with favor I'm not talking to some amen the bible says in the book of psalm chapter 5 11 and 12 psalms 5 11 and 12 look at it look at it psalms 5 11 and 12 11 and 12 it said but let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice let them ever shout for joy because thou defendest them let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee for thou o lord will bless the righteous to what with favor will thou compass him as with a shield favor builds shield around your life if i will Builds a shield around you. As I anoint you today, may that favor build you a shield. May you have the inner tenacity to resist the things that wants to defile you. You receive what you call secondary virginity. It means your virginity is about to be restored. As if you have never known any man and you have never known any woman. Say, I receive that grace. Are you there? Hallelujah. Bible says in the book of Exodus chapter 3, 20 and 21. 20 and 21. The Bible says, Exodus chapter 3, 20 and 21. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. Somebody is not living here empty. Amen. You shall not leave this auditorium empty. Amen. For the, look at the, look at the next, I love the next verse. It says, and now that every woman shall borrow of his neighbor and that sojourneth is there jewels of silver, jewels of gold and remnant and he shall put them upon your sons and upon your daughters and he shall spoil the Egyptian. You are living here with spiritual silver, gold, ornaments. You are not, you are not leaving this conference empty. You are going with prosperity. You are going with greatness. I don't know who I'm talking to. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Exodus 11, 1 and 3. 1 to 3. I'm closing with that. Exodus 11. And the Lord said unto Moses, Yet will I bring one more plague. Wow. Will I bring one plague more upon Pharaoh and upon, the, up, up, and upon Egypt? Afterwards, he will let you go hence. And when he shall let you go, he shall surely pass out hence altogether. 2. It says, Speak now to the ears of the people. Let every man borrow of his neighbor and every woman of a, of a neighbor. Jewels of silver and jewels of gold. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Lord day. I want you to always take note of that. You don't find it. You don't look for it. You don't fast for it. It's the Lord who gives. And anything that is given is received. Say, I receive it. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight of Pharaoh, even in the sight of the people. So, beloved, I prophesy to you that you are leaving this place on the way in. And anything, isn't it? anything that wants to disfavor you, you pull it down. As we are about to pray, anything that has located you, anything that is crawling into your life, it frustrates that spirit. And may God, who has called you, favor your cause. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Give the Lord a mighty shout.